you own a Logitech webcam, like the C920, Brio, C922, or C930. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Logitech Camera Settings app to control the zoom level in your Zoom, Teams, or other virtual meetings. Start by going to the Logitech Support website at support.logi.com. On that page, you'll see a Downloads link. Click on that to go to the Software Downloads page. The software you want to download is this one here, Camera Settings. When you click on it, it will automatically detect your operating system and allow you to download the version for your computer. There are versions for both Windows and Mac. Download the software and install it on your computer. The key is to start your video in your meeting platform first. So you notice I've started Zoom and my video is already connected to Zoom. Now this will also work in the Zoom video preview mode as well. So once the camera is being used in your meeting platform, then go ahead and start up the camera settings app. When it opens up, you're going to notice that you have the controls, but you don't see a video preview here. That's okay. It still controls the camera in the meeting platform. You have your zoom in with the plus and zoom out, and you also have the positioning arrows here to move your video around within the frame. So I'll click on the plus, and you'll notice it zooms in. Now you might have to adjust where your uh, face is in the video when you're zoomed in. Notice you can see my facial expressions much better now. Now the caution is that when your camera is zoomed in, any hand gestures you might use normally in presenting may not be seen because now my hands are outside of the camera frame. I have to move them up here to be in the camera frame. So just know that that might be something you need to look at. You'll also notice that there's an advanced tab. The advanced tab has some other settings I normally say just leave them as the default. You don't need to change them. On the home setting, you can again move in or out as you need to. Now, one of the advantages of this particular app over the Logitech Capture app is that this is not a virtual camera. So there's no lag between the video and the audio in your meeting. It is simply controlling the camera and the cameras being used by your meeting platform. The Logitech Camera Settings app also works when you display your webcam video in a browser. In the description below this video on YouTube, you'll see a link to a article that I did on how to use this small HTML program that allows you to display your webcam in a browser window so that you can place it beside your slides and show your video and your slides while you're presenting. And you'll notice the Zoom works here as well. One of the things I suggest is if you're using the camera settings app, is during your meeting, don't close it because the settings might get lost. So minimize the app down to your taskbar and then just close it after you're done the meeting. So download the Logitech Camera Settings app and try it out in your next meeting. See if it improves your video in your Zoom, Teams, Google Meet, WebEx, or other meeting platforms. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.